apparently yes there is a chance that you might have twins or triplets that is what everybody knows but now we have the fixed protocol of transferring in fact throughout the world there is a rule to transfer just a single embryo but even if we transfer two embryos or three embryos their chances of having a twin or a triplet say in a person in a woman who is of a very small age then there is obviously a chance that both the embryos might stick to the uterus and she might get a twin but we always follow the rule to uh, transfer just one or two embryos and uh, either one of them could possibly stick we do that just to increase the chance of the pe person getting a pregnancy but as such because of the fact the number of embryos that are transferred that leads to the twins or the triplets sometimes but otherwise it is not because of the treatment that you have the possibility of uh, twins or a triplets in a higher uh, percentage but yes if we do transfer just a single embryo then there's no way that you can have a twin or a triplet and especially in women who are of younger age group we try to push in just a single embryo or at, or just about two so that there is no higher chance of multiple pregnancy if a woman is of higher age then yes we might know that she has a lower chance of implantation in the uterus then there might be that we are pushing in two to three but yes uh, as of now there is really no strict protocol that yes you only get twins and preg uh, or multiple pregnancy in an IVF or an ICSI cycle you monitor that you gauge that and then you do the transfers so that you do not give some unnecessary risks to the patients. Ectopic pregnancy is a condition when the pregnancy occurs not in the uterus but anywhere outside the uterus like in the cervix or the tubes etc. So in a natural cycle and when a couple conceives naturally there is about 1% chance of the pregnancy becoming an ectopic pregnancy but in an IVF cycle or an ICSI cycle when we are pushing in the uh, embryos inside the uterus the chances as such of getting an ectopic pregnancy does not increase it is still about say 1% but if there is a known tubal disease etc in the woman then yes when we do an IVF also the ectopic pregnancy chances will still increase but as such the myth that in an IVF cycle the chances of ectopic will be higher is absolutely untrue because in natural cycle as well as in IVF cycle the chances are absolutely the same.